Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to install racking for solar panels on a composite shingles roof. Right here we have plants and uh, it's going to be 24 panels. 4 panels on this part of roof and 20 panels right here. I'm going to mark 36 inch from this location, 18 inch from top and we will start marking all panels. mark all panels we can start locating rafters one easier way to locate rafters is to go here and basically we can mark this rafter on the roof and then do for the rest of them now we can see that rafter is gonna be somewhere here one alternative way is to use rubber mallet I prefer not to use metal one. I know many installers use metal one, but it's gonna damage shingles. Just my opinion. So what you can do, I'm not sure if it's gonna be, if you can hear this on the camera, but let's try. So somewhere here, And uh, we missed rafter, which is normal situation here. I, I have this tool, so I'm just going to insert it there. And now we see, like here, rafter is on the left, just a little bit. So whenever I, this one is hitting the center of the rafter, and this is middle of the rafter. then when we have two holes we have to mark which one is good which one is not in a rafter usually i'm doing line below the hole so that means this is good one this is rafter and that one will just seal and cover now we're going to continue our plants next one is going to be in the 72 inches we we're, we're skipping to rafters So in this case, rafters not positioned ideally, and we have 69 over the center, but it's supposed to be 72. This situation is fine if we have enough coverage for metal flashing. So in our case, hole is there and we have enough space, still enough space. We're gonna seal all of this around, plus seal all of these holes. Sometimes it's possible that you're gonna miss a much it's gonna be here, for example. Then we have to use just metal sheet and insert this metal sheet and seal. But hopefully we're not gonna be in this situation today. And in this case, we got right into the rafter. Now we are at the end of row. So we started right there. Now we're here and uh, we want to find the rafter as close as possible to the edge. So in our case, it's going to be either 24 right here and next 24 is going out of the panels. So that one is going to be our last L foot mount right here at 24. Now we're going to start installing flashings and the idea of flashing that it should go completely behind this row and just a little bit of this row so in our case it's going to be like that here's the sealant i'm using
and uh, now we drilled one, two, three, four rows of uh, for raking, and uh, so we're going all this line, and then we can stagger the pattern. We drill in here and here. So now it's going to be again 72, but we remember the distance from that point to that point was 69.5. So we're going to mark right here and drill after. Sometimes flashing coming between two shingles, like, like in this situation. In this case, make sure that you seal those two lines below. And usually I'm putting a little bit extra here. So when water is going to drip, it's going to just go on a sealant and then it will go on a metal fashion. Is that too much? Можно меньше, можно просто прямую линию под двумя этими штуками. То есть под второй тоже туда. То есть тут не бывает такого, что, ну... I just don't want to, you know, like, waste so much. Это окей. Okay. Often you're gonna hit situation when you're selling else it's not going all the way. And if you try to rotate it, we can see that something is holding it's here. And if we leave the shingle, we will see that it's nail right there. So we need to remove this nail. We'll just insert pry bar right where nail located. Lift this. remove this nail and then we'll seal this hole seal around this to prevent any leaking now our flashing going all the way we need hours later we finished all L foots on this roof and uh, here's our like staggered pattern and we're ready for rails now we need to install those guys and uh, we can start breaking to connect rails together we're using this splice kit and we don't need any screws or self-tapping screws from that we just insert and then one rule for them it cannot be at the end of a row for example if we have mount here and if panel is gonna end right here we cannot do this this should be always installed between l foots And now we're using these bolts and just insert into the rail. And next step is to run conduit. So we'll need to run conduit from these rails to this array and then it's gonna go down this location. So we can do bend around the sieve but I'm going to use this flashing low profile and um, we're just gonna go down there on a wall and here's the line.
then we will need to paint this and we are done. And here's the EMT going right there. Hopefully you, you learn how to install uh, iron rich wrecking on a composite shingles roof. It's not hard at all unless the roof is high pitch, on the low pitch it's easy. And uh, we're gonna come back here in a few days, maybe in a week or maybe in a few weeks to install Solark 15K, 2EG4 batteries and the 24 solar panels, 405 watts each. So it's a pretty big system, at least for our area. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.